Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2012 Chevy Impala and I will show you how to remove and replace the front driver's seat. This video will apply to Chevy Impalas made from 2006 all the way up to 2013 and Chevy Impala Limited which was made from 2013 all the way up to 2016. Chevy Impala Limited is pretty much the same like uh, this one, only difference is it was sold just to fleet companies, rental uh, companies and it was used as a police vehicle. Okay, so to remove the seat, first I will show you, you will have two 15 millimeter screws in the back of the seat, so you'll, you'll have one down here and one on the opposite side. Okay, so once you have these uh, screws out, the next thing you want to do to make your life easier, you'll want to remove the headrest. And to do that, you'll want to tilt the upper part of the seat all the way down, so you can easily just uh, pull it off. Okay, so to remove the headrest, first you will have um, like a small button here, which you have to push and then pull the head headrest up but you still won't be able to completely remove it because it's gonna be still held here at this side. So I'll try to zoom it in. There is like a small hole right here. I'll turn the flash on my phone so you should, you should be able to see it now. I hope you can see it it's just down there. So what you have to do, you have to use something like a, like a small needle or something similar which you will just uh, you see push inside this hole and hold it now while you have this pin inside now you can pull that headrest all the way up okay, I'm trying to work with one hand here but here you go and this is how you can remove it the next thing you will do and I will have to use both of my hands to do this you will just push and push and lift this seat all the way up and I'm gonna show you now you'll see down there there is like a small hook so pretty much what you have to do while holding this seat like this you just want to pull it straight towards yourself and you will get it off these two hooks down there so it's nothing too hard to do but like i said i'll have to use both of my hands to do it so while holding it just grab it for this bar right here and pull it straight towards yourself okay so i just did it so i will try to show you what has to happen so you see pretty much these things have to just get out from those holes so that's why i said you have to leave the seat and pull it towards yourself and now there is nothing else holding this seat to the floor you just have to disconnect the seat belt and couple of wires next thing you want to do you'll have to disconnect the seat belt now there is a screw right here so you just have to pull this rubber cover off to get access to the screw you will need the torx t40 socket and a ratchet to remove it once the screw is unscrewed you can remove the seat belt and now like i said before only thing left to do is to flip the seat and disconnect all the wiring from underneath so you'll have to disconnect the power seats srs and the airbag wires Okay, so before disconnect uh, all the wiring, you want to make sure to disconnect the battery, especially because you will be disconnecting the airbag. So if you don't disconnect the battery, what might happen, you might get the airbag light on, and then you'll need a scanner to, to reset it. So make sure to disconnect the battery, and that will save you some headaches, some possible headaches. 
Okay, so first we'll want to disconnect the main connector, the black one. Now I'll try to squeeze my phone somehow in there. I won't be able to do it actually. But anyways, you have like a small black tab here on top of it, you see? You just have to press it and pull the wiring out. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you now. So just push on this and pull it out. And now this yellow one should be also quite easy to disconnect. First you'll have this like uh, safety clip, the red uh, safety clip, you want to pull it out towards yourself and now you want to press onto this, this tab here and just unplug everything. And that's pretty much everything. Once you have disconnected all the wires, the seat is ready to be uh, pulled out. Okay, so I figured the easiest way to pull the seat out is just turn it sideways and pull it out through the driver door. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and that should be it. I hope this video was at least a bit helpful and that you were able to remove your seat as well. Thank you for visiting my channel. If this video was helpful, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.